we're here to worship you. Lord, just dwell among us today.
falling from the clouds, a strange and lovely sound. I hear it in the thunder and the rain. It's ringing in the skies like cannons in the night. The music of the universe plays. Lord, you alone are worthy. We give you all the glory, all the praise, God. God, we're here today to worship you. We're here because we know we can't do it on our own. I pray that every person that stepped into this building today laid their pride at the door. Said, God, I can't do this on my own. My life is yours. My heart is yours, God. I'm just here to say I love you. I'm here to see what you have in store for me. God, fill our hearts today. Lord, speak to us. We sing. He became a sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so amazing love so amazing Jesus Messiah Name. 
Blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah. Lord of all, His body the bread. His body the bread. His blood the wine. Broken and poured out, all for love. The whole earth trembled as the veil was torn. Love so. Lord.
we rejoice in you for all you've done, for all you're going to do. We worship you. We say, Behold. church. Behold the church, the one to turn to him, the man, the child who have turned away from sin. And we sing to him that he has called us home. And we declare that you alone are Lord. Rejoice. We sing rejoice. Rejoice, our Savior is alive. Rejoice, for death has been denied. Rejoice, His majesty is there. Let our praises fill the air as we rejoice.
God. Give a praise offering to God. He is worthy. You can feel his presence this morning. We are excited that he is here with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have a seat. Whew. These guys are amazing, aren't they? And they're, <laughs> and they're, they're CD. They're hoping to have it come out um, um, on before Christmas, on Christmas Eve, and to make a wonderful gift in that we can enjoy God's presence in our car. We can enjoy God's presence in our house. We can enjoy God's presence in, on our walks. And so we give thanks to God for giving us such an amazing worship team that we can join and worship with him. So, uh, I'm Pastor Bob, and if you are new to the vineyard, we are so excited about you being here. I mean, it really is. We want you to be part of our family, and if you'd like to know a little bit more about our church, and um, please go to the uh, welcome desk, and uh, Kathy's out there, and she just wants to introduce you and give some information about uh, Pastor Kirk's vision for this church. And the most important thing is that we want to be the kind of church that we become disciples of Jesus Christ, and that we want to go and reach the unreached. And so I'd like to invite the ushers up right now, and we're going to do offering. Not only do we give praise offerings, but we give offerings because we believe, we do it with great joy, that God is doing things all over uh, this valley, and God's doing all over things over this world. And so um, real quick, I get one little shot at this, is that the uh, uh, last couple of years we've been doing the backpack program. It's been pretty amazing. We get to feed 600-some uh, kids every weekend. But once in a year, we get a chance to tell them about Jesus. And we do this Christmas party for them, and we set up a tent that seats about three to 400 people. We, we, we set out chairs and stuff. It's like the old days, you know, tent revival. And all these kids come, and, and they come, and we get a chance to share Jesus with them. We get to hand them out coats, and we get to hand out Bibles, and we get to tell them the great story of Christmas, and we get to hand out presents to them. And so if you would like to uh, adopt a little kid, we have about 250 kids come out, and uh, most of them are between the age of five and nine. And uh, boy and girl, if you'd like to bring a present for a kid, you can pick up one of those things at the information desk. And if you'd like to help set up the tents and all that, you can sign up for that too. But it is, it's amazing. All these people who have never heard the story of Jesus, all they know is Santa. And we get a chance to share that with them. And, and we've had over 100 people in this last year give their life to Christ out there. So um, let's just pray. Yeah, I know. If that, you can't get excited about that. <laughs> so... Let, let's be the kind of church that just gives freely to God because we know that he multiplies. And so, Lord, will you join me in prayer over these, these, this offering that it would be pleasing to him? Uh, Lord, we come to you and we, just, we, we, sing, sing, we sing praises to you, God. And, and, and Lord, we, just, uh, we, we give our offerings to you. And, Lord, we just know that um, we, we believe that you're going to multiply it and to reach the ends of the earth so that you would come back soon, that everyone would know that you are Lord. And, Lord, I just pray for the, uh, the teaching today. I pray for um, that our ears would be open and our eyes would be open to see where you're moving. And we just give you all the praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Take a look at these announcements. They're amazing. In March of this year, Japan suffered its largest natural disaster in decades. The earthquake and subsequent tsunami destroyed billions of dollars in property, and much more important, tens of thousands of lives. The Japanese are a resourceful people, and within a short time, cleanup and recovery was underway. This terrible event, however, provided a unique opportunity for the international community to show compassion on Japan, and a significant inroad for the church as well. Less than 1% of Japan knows Jesus. But through this dark time, the church has been able to show God's love and be there to help. This spring, we are planning a trip to Japan. We will be going up into Miyagi Prefecture, which is about an hour from Sendai. We are looking for people interested in going to this area of Japan for an intense time of outreach and assistance. Come help build, paint, evangelize, and just show love to those who need it most. It's all happening this spring, from April 19th to the 30th. Come get information and sign up out at the info desk. Hi, I'm Group's Pastor John Jessup. Can you imagine 2012 being a year of spiritual growth like you've never experienced before? Anticipate it. I want you to put something on your radar screen. We are doing a church-wide sermon book series next semester, running for eight weeks starting January 15th. This means that Pastor Kirk will share a message on Sunday, 
and small groups will dig deeper with one another during the week, allowing God to form in us dynamically. The Sermon Book series is based on Rooted in Good Soil, a journey into authentic discipleship. The book component in the series is written by Tri Robinson, pastor at Boise Vineyard. And the book is based on the parable of the sower found in Matthew 13. God's word needs to be firmly planted in us and we need to be fertile ground for it to take hold. Rooted in Good Soil is designed for you to go deeper with God, be able to keep the faith when hard times come, and to really make a difference in people's lives. Imagine the impact of a talk on Sunday, responsible follow-up during the week, and we all do this together. It will be powerful. Now here's what you can do. Register. Go to the church's website, link into calendar and events, and then link into Rooted in Good Soil. All right, now we also have all the information you need on this green handout, which you can pick up at the group's desk. Go and pick one up. We really don't want anyone left behind. Get into the journey. Anticipate this next step together. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me now? I am a DJ, and I'm the high school pastor here. And it's great to be with you guys. You guys are missing the Broncos game to be here. Maybe, does somebody have a smartphone? Keep me updated. Right hand, Broncos score. Left hand, Minnesota. Don't do that, actually. I'll be distracted. You guys don't want that. Man, it's good to be at...